Hi friends, welcome to this haul. This should hopefully be, I believe, the first part of this haul for the August Collective Happy Mail haul. That was a lot of times to say haul, I'm really sorry. Please don't hate me. Um, but anyways, I have two wax orders. I think this was my last Wit & Wax sub. I was very confused when it like said it was shipping because I had canceled it and I was like, I don't know how their billing happened, but this is the Little Mermaid one. I didn't really want this one. I don't really like summer smells, like ocean, all that stuff. I do not like those. Those are not my jam. But some of these turned out okay. So I think some of them I will enjoy. And then I have a massive L3 Waxy Wonders order over here. So, um, and then I have some Happy Mail in the middle. So I am going to start off with, I mean, it's all Happy Mail, but I mean, Planner Happy Mail. Um, and I'm gonna start off with the Planner Happy Mail. I have two of the subscriptions. One is from Friends Co. I forgot this one in the last part. And then this one came after, um, from my July collective haul. Then I have another Scope Friends Co. order and Aura Stell right here. So there's gonna be something really exciting coming with the Aura Stell inserts from me on my channel, hopefully, um, if I can keep it up. So just wait for that. But let me move the wax out of the way and let's get into these um, mystery kits. This one, let's zoom you in, is Scribble Prince Co. Mystery. I'll move that out of the way. But this is a lavender hollow wiggle that came with the kit. I actually really enjoyed this theming more than I did like Cyber Monday mystery of 2020. I just didn't like the old school 80s. Like um, my mom grew up as a child in the 80s and she hates the 80s. And I don't know if my dad really cares. Like my dad only really likes like Star Wars and whatnot. So like growing up, I didn't like have a lot of 80s exposure to like culture, like movies, music, all of that. Um, so yeah, but I really do like this one a lot. It reminds me of like the um, Control Alt Delete kit, but I do like it. I mean, I think I'll probably use it in the spring. If you haven't already seen it already, you know, you'll see in a second what I'm talking about, but this is a heart wiggle in the lavender hollow. Now I'm not like lavender hollow crazy. I do think it's pretty, but like, I think it would be great if it was just hollow itself. Um, I just really, I'm not turned off to fun foils. Like I just really enjoy core foils a lot more. So you have this page here, you have your bougie boxes and you have your script page and then this additional page. I do like the heart format. I think this would be really cute for like Valentine's Day or something, so we'll see. I don't think I would use it with this kit. Like I personally, this doesn't call for lavender hollow to me. This just calls for like a silver, a sparkly hollow or a hollow, but not lavender. So you have this page here with a little strawberry shortcake. I thought that was so cute. And then you have like, it's eating the cereal, the flatter, or actually I think that's a crimper girl on the phone. I miss these old phones. They're so, I, I didn't really have like a phone like this. Like it was probably my mom. My mom was a teen mom. So, um, I mean, it wasn't really my phone. It was more her phone, but I miss like house phones and whatnot. Um, Tamagotchi. I love Tamagotchi so much. I don't think I ever had this Nintendo. I'm not really into toaster strudel that much. The caboodle is cute. I love this scene. So yeah, I don't know when I would use this. Probably just like next February or like in the spring. I love this girl. Her hair is so cute. And then this fashion girl here too. I love her. Um, it reminds me of like the, the kids today, how they dress. I don't dress this way, but I would love to if I could. Um, this page is so cute. Love all of that stuff. Then you have your deco. I don't really like when the deco is like this big. I wish it was smaller or something. Um, we have your pages, work. Um, you get, I think, six work. Yep. And then these... Um, I forgot what these are called. And then the weekend banner. Love the colors. I mean, it's definitely on par with like control alt delete colors. I think this is just like a shade or two lighter or the other way around. I don't know, but I love this color. Love this page here. This is so cute, obsessed. The patterns, the kind, now, I don't really know if I love all these patterns like together, um, like with the white in the background. It does remind me of like Taco Bell, this like in the 80s and 90s. But um, 
I don't know. I don't know how I love, like, I like it to be, like, more dimensional and, like, broken up. Um, but I love when they have these extra pa like labels here and they have the extra Fashion Girl options. This Fashion Girl is cute. Um, I don't really care for hands at all. But it's very impressive. I just I don't care to have them in my planner. 15 millimeter washi, some extra labels. So that is the Scoba Prince Co. August 2021 mystery. I'm excited to see September and see what else is in store. But um, yeah, that was the August 2021 mystery. I had it already. I just forgot to include it in the July haul bit. So I just decided to share with y'all then. Um, this is the August Mystery from Caress Press. It is Foon and Wine Festival themed. Um, I love the colors. It's very like on par with fall. I live around the metropolitan DC area, so we do have quite a bit of good food and food festivals and whatnot. And there's one in particular I usually go to in Georgetown in the fall. Um, I'm probably not going this year, depending on what it falls on and even if I did I have all my kids selected for the fall like pretty much all the way until November uh, Thanksgiving I have all my kids selected so I would not be using this anyways but I will hold on to it for the future um your 15 millimeter washi you have your six boxes which I always forget about I have your deco here um I just love food so this is all so good the heart checklist the flags the weekend banner then you have two double box scenes here and here. So if you needed to like, you know, have one on the inside or something like that. If you need an extender, you could do that. I believe these are beef tacos. I um, love that so much. Um, I love a little backpack. I wish I could have one of those backpacks maybe. Maybe for my, my 30th birthday, I'll give myself like a big designer bag. Um, but anyways, here is the... Um, like, like I said, it's two scenes. I love the cheese and the wine, especially the Gouda. I kind of want to have like a little wine sampler with like cheese and like champagne grapes. And yeah, kind of want to do that. Some bubble waffles here. I love bubble waffles. We have this page here. Um, yeah, I really love the colors. We have this page here. I love all the patterns. Like I said, I like the dimension. Like I don't like all of it being like the same background color. Um, this is really pretty right here. I love the colors once again. Better headers, labels. Then we have this page here. I've started to use these icons more. I try to remember. I feel like all of these could go. Like, I don't need a work label. I don't need a class label. I don't need flight info. This could go. This could go. This could go. This could, eh, That could stay. This could go. I don't even I think it's like tracking your monthly, I mean, weekly spending or something. I don't know. Because this total right there, I don't know. Then you have your little things and your headers. Honestly, all these headers could go for me. Like, I say this a thousand times. And then I love this, like, coffee, I think, with these cookies. It looks so cute. I love that box. And then I love the plaid bottom washi. And then I love these fashion girls. Like, I am obsessed. Like, I'm not, honestly, I, I could never see myself wearing this, but I wish I could. But, like, it's such a fall fashion moment. And then the girls with the iced coffee. I mean, you got plenty of boxes. So, these are so cute. I am so obsessed. And then, hold on real quick. Let me flip this around. Mm -hmm. We have the um, Shimmer Wiggle. And I think it's, like, I think it's, like, a bronzy gold matte. Not a matte, but it's, like, um, copper maybe? It could be copper, which is fun. Um, I wonder if her and SPC get their foil manufactured by the same people. But, um, you have this page here. I love the shimmer format. You have this page here. You have your whole reinforcers, icon scripts, weekend banner, dates, deco. And then you have your bougie boxes. And I don't think it's showing up very well on camera like what color that foil is, but I I do like it. I would pair it with this, but like I said, I'm not anti-fun foil. I just realized like I would spend so much money buying a bunch of fun foil just to not even really use it or, you know, not feel like I had enough scripts in the format or something like that. So that's that. So those were the August Mysteries from Crest Press and Scoba Prince Co. Let's go ahead and open this Scroll Prince Co. Happy Mail. You can see the 
um, champagne lights sticker. Honestly, can you guys leave a comment down below and tell me, do you like these stickers? I mean, I like them, but I kind of feel like they're wasteful. Like, they're going straight in the trash. I'm not holding on to this. So that's why I don't typically do stuff like that for my shop. But I just wanted to know. Because, I mean, if people like it, I'll start doing it. But I was like, they're going to just throw the mailer away. Um, but I got a ton of the uh, candy formatted... Um, uh, like, I don't know, should call these bougie bundles, wiggles, I don't know. I don't know. So I don't think it's a bougie bundle, but anyways. Um, and we have two Halloween kits here. And yeah, hold on. Let me open up this. Take my invoice out of here. So you guys don't see that. I think I have a rack. That's fun. I think it's for Cruella. I don't know which kit this is for, but you'll see in a second. All right, so... Let's pair our add-ons all together now. I love this so much. Like I saw this and I was like, this is it. This is it for me. And then this goes with this. So, all right, let's see. So we have this script sampler and I believe this is in gold. I don't think it's a different type of color. I think it's just gold. Um, and then we have this rack bag. So let's go through the rack real quick. Um, and I don't really keep the racks. They're most likely going to go in a de-stash. But um, I do keep like the scripts, so sorry about that. But this is the Misfit Rack Bag scripts, which is Target Run, Appointment, Starbucks Run, and Grocery Run. And then you have a script sampler in silver. I'm like, how is this a Misfit? I wonder if this was included. Maybe it's not cut all the way through. I don't know. Then you have these Kirsten, Once More With Love. Um, stickers. They're on like premium matte. Personally, I don't see myself using these, but I will um, probably de-stash this. I don't have babies. I mean, I could eat. I don't know. I might hold on to this. I think I'll hold on to that. We'll see. I don't typically like the munchkins with hair, though. Um, then, I don't know which kit this is from. It might be like City Lux or something like that. I don't remember. Um... But I do like the color scheme. I'm sorry, I hope I'm in frame. I do like the color scheme. Um, you have like this laptop with Scribble Prince Co. And you know, all these colors. I don't personally think I would hold on to this though. I'd rather have like full box pages. And then I could probably like frank in some labels or something. But I, I don't know. So that's going to go in my D-Stash rack giveaway. I'm currently hosting one, but it'll probably be over right before, like by the time I get this up. Um, I, I know it'll be over by the time I get this up. But if you're ever interested in my like Misfit rack giveaways, I'm debating doing them monthly or maybe just all like after six months or something like that. So we'll see. But um, I'll always like show on here. And on Instagram, you know, when I have a rack giveaway, so Misfit, Rack, whatever, D-Stash giveaway. So we have the foil bundles. This is in a sparkly hollow. We have hollow. We have silver. And then we have gold. So let's go ahead and open the silver one. They're all the same, so I'm not going to go through each and every single one. But I will go through them with y'all here. So, um, here is the silver. I really love it so, so much. Except the only thing I could kind of think of is, like, I can't see myself using this with Halloween. Like, but I also can't see myself using it with Christmas. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I don't really personally agree with, like, peppermints and candy cane and candy corn all being together. Heart lollipops. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I just wanted them all, though, just because I love candy and I love sweets. So this page here, bougie, more bougie, um, script sampler, icons, and then this is the bottom washer. I do like the confetti aspect and all of this. I love that as well. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but that is that. Put it back in the cello. Where did this cello come from? Oh, freaking no. What's that? Hmm? Am I going crazy? I'm like, was this rack 
all together? Where did this cello come from? I have no idea. Okay. Because, like, before... No. Where did this cello come from? I have no idea. Okay. Um. Oop. I hate when I do that. Mm. I just rub my eye and wear an eye makeup. Oopsie daisies. But, yeah, these are the foil that I got. And then I got the Friday the 13th kit. I love classic horror movies. And now some of like modern ones too, so. Decided to get this kit. Let me open it up. There we go. So this is the freebie with the kit. This is the, um, these are the full boxes, I mean. Um, I've never really seen The Shining all the way through. I don't think I've watched The Cabin in the Woods. I have watched, um, sorry, I'm not in frame. Um, I forgot which movie it is. I don't remember. It's like one that my book, The Evil Dead. I think I've watched that. I've seen some Chucky's, like not probably all the way through. Um, this is, uh, you know, Dairy. I've seen Pino Mo it. I hate it. I hate clowns. Never seen Pet Cemetery. I don't know what Overlook Hotel is. Maybe it's from The Shining. Elm Street. Um, what would have been cool is like, um kind of like an ode to psycho i think psycho is like really not included a lot like when it comes to people thinking about like classic horror movies but scream i love scream so much i could watch that forever i've never seen jeepers creepers and i don't like michael or jason really that much sorry um i've never watched poltergeist but i do want to and then this is uh from pennywise uh, it so Georgie's little jacket. So this is cute. I like how the colors this time she incorporated more of the bright colors because I think last time the format was like a bunch of a gray color scheme. Now I don't know if I love this glitter headers. Um, I probably would have preferred for them to just be red, yellow, and blue and black rather than them have like the kind of speckled paint look. I do like the black faux glitter and then we have this page here. Like I said, I do like how she incorporated the red, yellow, and blue this time because last time it was all like black and gray scale. Once again, I'll probably just use scripts on the black because I don't really like writing on black. So you have this here, the pattern, and then you have this with the screen mask and a picture, like a Polaroid. I'm gonna take this. So yeah, and then I just got the 15 millimeter add-on and then the label sampler. I like how it's like kind of like a splatter of blood. So yep, yeah, that is super cute. It would have been fitting to like use it like this week. Um, it was like the right now is the day after Friday the 13th. But honestly, I'm still in like summer kit mode. So I just wish there was like a Friday the 13th somewhere in October but I am using this in October I'm doing more Halloween kits this time than fall like I'm gonna do some fall in September some fall in um, November but it is all Halloween vibes in October so I just feel like there's so much Halloween art that I never get to use because I try to use fall all throughout and so I just never end up having enough room but I'm like I'm gonna make room so this year my birthday falls on the same week as Halloween. My birthday is the 25th, Halloween is the 31st, it's six days away, so it's the same week. And um, I have got this kit because it's like perfect for Halloween slash my birthday. So we have this uh, 15, not 15 millimeter. We have the label sampler here. I love the black speckle in the corner. We have the, ooh, we have like this kind of like black charcoal color, 15 millimeter washi. We have this fashion girl tall box here. Love that. I kind of like the shadows and the lighting and all that. I don't care for the kids. I don't have children. Um, I don't care for the hands either. So hopefully I don't need like a bunch of extenders because I don't know. I might just end up putting this on the inside of a box. I don't even wear my nails like this, but... I like the tattoo on her arm. Here are the full boxes. I was like, the fact that there's a little cake box I need to have for my birthday and a little cupcake. 
I might try to have like a little ghosty themed cake for my birthday or just like Halloween vibes. We'll see. Um, so we have the two fashion girls here. Um, the little flat lays, love that. The double box scene. Then you have this scene here with a little bucket list, love that. And then the girl's feet, the cauldrons that are pastel colored. I love these colors so much. So cute. I love the turquoise, especially like this aqua color. It's my favorite color. I love the deco, I love the sizing for the deco. I love the black faux glitter, the flags, the work weekend. I love the glitter headers and just like all the colors and everything in this. Then the icons, kind of like flags. Um, how do we call it? Let's just call them shape labels. And then like rounded, rounded square labels. Then we have the normal like little things and you know plain colored labels. Then we have your pattern ones here. The only one I think that's going to be a little bit distracting is this one. I think it's just got a lot going on. And then you have this here and then this hand. I would probably use this hand. Yeah, probably use this hand if I did have to use it. Although I don't really care for hands. So that is the little witch kit, which I am so excited to use for my birthday and for Halloween. This year, hopefully I'm filming. If not, I mean, you guys will see it eventually. So yeah, Ooh, wrong way. Yeah, bring this back. Yeah, go in there. Ah. I'm sorry for all my sounds. I think I'm sorry. So anyways, there we go. So that is my order from Scrubble Prints Co. Moving along, I have last my last planner, Happy Mail, is my order from Aura Cell. And you guys, if I can pull this off, I'm so excited. If I can do it, I might not film it all the time. I'll try. We shall see. All right, we are diving in to decorative, dainty, B6 planning. So. We have some B6 monthly inserts. I was currently using them like, I wanna have them, like I tried to make it like functional but cute. This is gonna be, if I had to say, what I'm trying to do would probably be like 70%, somewhere between 60 and 70% decorative and then 30 to 40% functional. My, my goal is like 50-50, but that's not realistic. Um, so this is the, I already had the monthly ones, but I'm going to have monthlies for um, both of my shop planner, which is a B6. I don't, oh, they're both over here. Okay. I'll show you guys. So this is my B6 rose quartz right now and i was kind of using it as like life and shop and that's not working okay that's not working very well also it's like kind of bent so i'm gonna have to get her back flat but um sh this was not working for me like i was trying to do like my dailies aren't even in here i was trying to do this all the time i was trying to do like monthlies and all this stuff honestly i need something that's just going to be just functional and I also want to play with fun and dainty I mean this works I just I can't see myself using like actual stickers for functional so we're gonna have to see I mean I'm gonna continue to try to use this this is the great thing is that like it's not dated so I can just pick up whenever I want I haven't done this since June but I want to try vertical functional pre-planning and i'll tell you what i'll tell you who's the one who inspired me to do this it's kane of percussion so i think i saw kane showing like how he uses his b6 and he uses a top three and so i'm like okay i'm gonna give that a try i'm gonna give that a try you know like weekly so i mean and i've always wanted to play with dainty planning but it doesn't fit my everyday not my everyday my like What's it called? A like current A5 wide memory planning. It just doesn't fit. Like I, I'm sorry. 
But anyways, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try one of these monthlies is gonna be cutesy. I mean, everything, I'm trying to make everything fun and cute and like a great creative decorative outlet um, in a different style than what I currently have. And I wanna film that for you guys. Um, and the B6s, on the two B6s, one's going to be, I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to try to set up a bullet journal to be more functional or something like that. I don't know yet. We are figuring it out. I just decided to go ahead and get these inserts. I honestly, I just got tired of printing dailies like every single month. I'm really bad at it and so that's why I don't have any dailies and I haven't had any for the past couple months. So I was like, let's just try something new because like at least these are already printed and they're punched and I don't have to do anything for them. I don't think it's gonna be super functional. I mean like besides just knowing what, every week what I need to do. So we shall see. So I got two things of the weeklies and one thing of the monthlies. So these are the weeklies. So I got two weeklies. I think the inserts were like buy three, get 30% off. So that's why I just went ahead and got three. Hold on. So these are the weekly vertical inserts. And I just wanna see, like we're just gonna see how this goes. I'm probably not gonna start doing them until September, but I'll just have like, kind of like a plan ahead of like weekly what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, is it gonna be like functional, like pin? Not really, I might just have like a planner where I can just do pin. We don't know yet. We're, we are still trying to figure that out, but we are going to start. This is what I was do going to use as my, as my um, shop planner, but I might switch it. We shall see. I might use the pink one as my shop planner and use this as my personal planner. But in here, I just have like my goals, my release tracker, which has been ish because I'm not really good at keeping up with that. Shop projects, da 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 da, notes, whatever. So this might become my personal like plan ahead filming planner, decorative B6. And the other one might become my shop planner. And I might film some stuff with that. I don't know, we'll see. Because I don't like saying like I'm gonna do a release and then I don't end up doing it and I feel like crap and I have imposter syndrome. And then I feel bad. So we shall see. That might just be like for me to like try to get a type of schedule or anything with my shop. We shall see. And if I get good enough, maybe I'll share that with you guys. But this is just gonna be personal. It's just gonna be like, I'm writing down I have school. I'm writing down I have class. I'm writing down which HelloFresh recipe I'm making that day. I'm writing down, you know, important stuff like birthdays or trips or stuff like that. I don't typically have a lot of that. So it might not even be a lot. It might be like, I put down the base. I put down what I already know. And then later on, I add more. So we'll see. I mean, I'm mostly gonna probably be doing like printable kits because I don't wanna spend a lot of money on this buying a bunch of like kits already pre-made because this is gonna be dainty style. Like we're going dainty. We're going like watercolors, florals, all of that. And I might make some of the some kits on my own. So I wanna film that for you guys. I, I really do want to. And I think that's not a lot of pressure yet. There's no, there's no knowing for sure, but we shall see. So I think this is gonna become the personal. I'm gonna have to, I don't think I'm gonna try to set it up all crazy. I mean, probably besides like a dashboard, an acetate, a vinyl, and some vellum. I'm tired of doing crazy setups. I don't really need a bunch. So we shall see. I think I'll probably do my, like, I think I have some monthly tab inserts that I might put in here. That way I can split them up monthly. But yeah, we're we're gonna try this. So give me one second, the camera's about to cut me off, so I'm gonna pause it and come right back. All right, so I'm back. So this is probably gonna become the personal planner. I'll probably just have it out on my desk, add stuff as I need to and whatnot. But I definitely, I mean, I right now I do use my pocket to like write down stuff in pen. So maybe my pocket planner is my pen planner for now, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't even working for the rose quartz to be my pen planner, my daily pen planner, because I would just forget. 
So I think I'm gonna do a combination of having stuff on calendars, on my computer, trying to maybe set up a bullet journal. We'll see, that's probably not gonna be filmed or put on <laughs> this channel. We'll see, I have to get it, I have to get it to a point where I'm comfortable um, and I like that. So we shall see on that. But I'm definitely going to attempt uh, the dainty, decorative, somewhat pre-planning, somewhat functional, but not 100% functional, because it's not going to be 100% functional, you know, to use stickers. I'm sorry, like, using stickers and functional planning just don't vibe with me. So it'll be a little bit functional, you know, but I'm not going to have, like, a month ahead of time, you know, if I say, like, I'm doing something in November or something, I won't have it. Or maybe I will go through. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we will see, guys. But this, this one here, I think I'm going to switch to be my shop planner and, you know, switch everything around. Um, just because the pink color reminds me of my shop. But as you can see, I did try to, like, put some stuff. But I don't think I even know if I put those ahead of time. Like, if I put them, you know, just as, as stuff came up or what. So, yeah. We will see. I'm going to definitely want to have one planner where, like, I say, like, hypothetically, like, hey, I'm going to try to have a release X day, that day, or whatever. But it's not going to be all the time. Because I'm not good at that. I'm not. I'm sorry. So, this will probably become the shop planner. And I'll move, you know, my monthly bills. Some stuff I might be able to keep functional. Monthly bills and tracking orders and online orders and trying to meal plan and all that that might be able to be functional shopping list so we shall see I mean I don't even take these anywhere um and pretty soon I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on with like work life all that stuff needless to say I will not be having to go to an office so I won't really have to take my planners anywhere I'll be working from home but I haven't shared that update yet. I'm just waiting for stuff to happen. Um, that was me winking at you, if you couldn't tell. But anyways, this is what we're thinking. I might play around with this later, but I do need to film some bases and some spreads. So I might wait until tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's my like long-winded explanation. It probably didn't need to be that long. It didn't need to be explained that much. But that's what we're doing and i'm super excited to start with y'all and it'll be hopefully sometime in september and i have time to figure out the bujo even though i wish i would have started in like july like the ocd in me and i don't know if i'm using that term correctly so if i am not feel free to humble me quickly you know one second i'm gonna take a sip of my water Mm, so good um but yeah if I'm not using it correctly let me know but like the OCD in me by my definition is like being obsessed with like the little things um is that I wish I would have started like within you know July or January a bullet journal so I kind of hate that I'm waiting until now we'll see I need to watch like a ton of bullet journal set of videos to get inspired because even bullet journals I know people say like oh this is functional I don't feel like it's functional like anything that requires stickers I don't feel is functional anything that's not just like a pen and a piece of paper a calendar format is not functional to me so yeah we shall see anyways without going on anymore about that little rant let's go ahead and get into the wax melt and if you don't like wax melts feel free to like skip on by um but let's go through the wit and wax order first this is the wax subscription if you are interested in their wax sub you just go to waxsub.com um this is dingle hopper it's a tropical teak wood spicy cardamom i love cardamom and cinnamon dusted satsuma mandarins i don't like mandarins and they're not the same as clementines and i wish grocery stores would stop saying that they're clementines because they're not but this is what it looks like and just from opening this I can smell it from like I'd say maybe like four or five feet away and it smells good it reminds me of like men like men smells like men body wash so that's dingo hopper this is under the sea it is sparkling prosecco salt water taffy crashing ocean waves and a hint of clove clove is a very strong smell to me so I think I can smell this one as well this is what it looks like 
And that one's not as bad. I do like that. I think it's definitely like the saltwater taffy that, you know, makes it bearable when it comes to like that ocean vibe. This is Ariel. This is angel food cake, shortbread cookies in black with blackberry jam and sweet strawberry. And honestly, I don't know what it is about angel food cake. Or maybe it's the shortbread cookies or something. I don't know. It smells like plastic. So I'm not... I don't hate that one. I just don't love it. Like, it doesn't smell sweet. Um, this is Sebastian. This is Juicy Melon, Orange and Apple Blossom, Sweet Pink Moscato, and Elder... Sweet Pink Moscato, and Elderflower. I love Elderflower. This is what this looks like. And it smells good. Honestly, it's kind of like... It flirts with that fruity, like, floral, floral smell. I'm not a huge fan of that one. I don't love... I'm not saying I'm not a huge fan of Sebastian, that's fine. But what I'm saying is I'm not a huge fan of floral scents, and I think I've said that before. Um, this is Kiss the Girl, which is candied honey crisp apple. Love! Um, tart lime juice, sweet basil, English cucumbers, and flaky sea salt. Let's see, this is what it looks like. And it just reminds me of, like, ocean candles, which I don't like. This is Poor Unfortunate Souls, which is Jasmine Blossom, Sweet Bergamot, White Birch, Bright Citrus, and Spotted Vanilla. This one I like. It almost reminds me of, like, like, I don't know, like, Christmas. I don't know. Um, this is Flounder, which is Fresh Mandarin Slices. Once again, more Mandarin notes. Tropical Fruits, Coconut, and Classic Vanilla Shake with Strawberries. This is what that looks like. Oh, that one's sweet. I like that one. It's very, like, soft and sweet. That's all I can say. This is Part of Your World, and this is r Ruby Red Grapefruit, Crystallized Ginger, Juicy White Peaches, and Apple Dumplings. This one smells really good, too. I love that. So, those were the wax subs from Wit and & Wax, and then, last but not least, we have L3, well, last but not least for this portion of the haul, we have L3 Waxy Wonders. That's a lot going on in here, and I didn't even get to get everything I had wrote down that I wanted from the restock list. So let's start here. This is Elm Street, which is candy corn vanilla marshmallow pie crust. And this, this was a part of their, like, chunks ready to ship sale. So this is what it looks like. Can it focus? Does it want to focus? There we go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I really like that. I, don't, I think it's maybe because of the pie crust or maybe the vanilla marshmallow. I don't know. I don't really get candy corn at all. I don't know. Not the wax making a mess. This is Cider Donuts Mallow Fireside Candy Corn. Open for some candy corn. I think I smell the cider more and like the fireside. I don't really know if I get that. Um, Jesus, the wax is everywhere. If I get the um, candy corn, if I do, it's very subtle. Which I want to smell more of. Fireside is a very like overpowering smell. This is Bicentennial Man, which is country berry hotcakes, flapjacks, and brown sugar. I love the color of this. It smells good. I definitely think I get more of the like berry hotcakes. We'll see how it is when it melts. This right. Let me move this box. Like I think the camera keeps focusing on it. This is strawberry white cake, cherry chip cake, chocolate chip cookie dough. That's what it looks like. And the chocolate is very strong. I do get a whiff of the cherry. I don't know if I get a whiff of the chocolate chip cookie dough. I do like it though. Um, this is Twisty, which is experience of fall fair with this tasty treat from your favorite clown, buttered popcorn, harvest spice, and cider donuts. This is what it looks like. And this smells really good. Oh, it just, like nostalgically, it reminds me of like my best friend's house when we were like growing up. We would, first of all, we love fall and we love Halloween. And our birthday is, like, her birthday is October 5th, and mine is the 25th. And so we always just loved, like, doing Halloween stuff around our birthdays or all that stuff. And I feel like her mom had, like, something that, like, smelled like that in their house when we were kids. This is Bradsbury Zinger Cuppy Cakes. This is what it looks like. And that smells really good. 
That smells really yum. I love that. This is, let's see, focus, come on. This is orange zest cinnamon rolls. And it smells really good. Definitely getting that orange zest. Um, this is spearmint cake batter. If it focus. And honestly, it just reminds me of like peppermint chapstick. I'm not a huge fan of that, but we'll see. This is Jubilee, which is vanilla ombre, ombre cake, creamy whipped cream, frosty, and marshmallow fluff center. This is one of the cake bars. I think I get hints of vanilla. I don't know. I don't know what ombre cake is. Um, is it just like vanilla, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, whatever cake? Whipped cream frosting. I don't know if I get that. I don't know if I get the marshmallow. So I don't know. I think I definitely get the vanilla. This is coffee bean cinnamon buns, cream cheese frosting. I can definitely get like whiffs of the cinnamon and the like coffee. The coffee is definitely the strongest, but it's still good. I love coffee. Um, this is apple cider donuts. This is a little of the cake ones. This smells really good. Love that. Love fall. Love apple cider. I'm ready for fall. Then we have Sarah, which is pink sugar funnel cake cotton candy. I think it's good. I don't think I get funnel cake. I think I get cotton candy and probably definitely pink sugar, even though I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> But I do love the color of that. Then here we have Cherry Sweet Bakery Dough Whipped Cream. And this smells good. I mean, I definitely get the cherry. I don't know if I get like dough or bakery. I mean, it definitely does smell like not like straight up cherry, but I don't know. This is Aunt Aunt's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls, which is strawberry jam, whipped cream, cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake let's see it smells good it smells like it sm i mean i don't really know what strawberry jam is supposed to smell like but it reminds me of like that fresh strawberry smell it doesn't smell like too artificial um this is sugar spice and everything nice which is cream cheese stuffed french toast it smells good i don't know if i get like French toast. I definitely get cinnamon. It's not bad. I just, I don't know. Um, then we have, did I get two coffee bean cinnamon rolls? I might have. So this is coffee bean cinnamon roll. Let's see. The other one is coffee bean cinnamon buns, cream cheese frosting. This is coffee bean cinnamon roll. And it smells more like, more coffee. I do get like whiffs of cinnamon whiffs of it. So let's see how it smells when it melts. This is peach cinnamon sugar sweet cream. It smells good. I think that smells good. Um, this one here is Vermont honey apple cider lane cashmere cedar. Oh, this smells really good. Oh, I don't know why it's like very nostalgic to me. There's something nostalgic about this one. I love like the blend of the colors. This here is um, Whoville candy cane, which is pink sugar marshmallow cookies. This smells good. It kind of reminds me of like, there's a peppermint candy cane smell, I think, at Bath and Body Works in the winter times. Hold on. This is Feliz Navidad, which is churros, Mexican fried ice cream, tres leches. I love tres leches. I love churros. I don't know if I'm getting like cinnamon. I mean, I definitely get like that, like milky smell, like with the ice cream tres leches part, but I don't know if I'm getting a lot of cinnamon, which I would prefer because I love cinnamon everything. This is blackberry watermelon fizzy pop. I've never done a fizzy pop um, or like this type of smell. So I just decided to try one out. And it smells really good, really fresh. Oh, now I wanna have like a pop of soda, sorry. 
I'm from the south, so I don't say pop. Anyways, this is fresh linen, which is one of the samplers. This smells good. I don't know where I would use this. Maybe in one of the bathrooms. This is cherry slushy Mountain Dew. I definitely get like the slushy. I don't know if I get the Mountain Dew. Maybe a little bit, a very small hint. Sorry, is it gonna focus? There we go. This is cherry licious. This smells good. Not too overpowering, but I like cherry. And I think that's it. Yep, that's everything. So that is everything for this portion of the haul. I'll be back with a part two once I get some more happy mail in for y'all. I definitely have, I think I have a Once More With Love order coming. I have, sorry, I'm putting everything away so while I'm talking to you guys. I have a Once More With Love order coming. I obviously have Mystery Kids from Trump Prince Co. And, um, Caress Press. Probably gonna order some more Scrubber Prince Co. and Caress Press. Um, maybe, do you, are you guys interested in, like, printable hauls? Like, I might do a printable haul for when I make my printables for my B6 kits. That could be coming. Let me know what type of video ideas that you guys have for me. What do you want me to do? Are you interested in me possibly doing like wax melting baskets? Because I could do that. Because I'm going to be home a lot more often if you catch my drift. But um, that is it for this portion. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. And I'll see you in the next portion. Bye. Hello friends, I'm back with a second part of this haul. It's gonna be massive. Um, I kind of pretty much just wait until I get everything. I have a little like tiered tray. It's like one of those little Razcog carts, but it's trays. And um, while I wait for Happy Mail, I just, you know, more Happy Mail to come to film a haul. I just keep it set up over there. So there's going to be quite a bit. A lot of it's going to be wax. There is some planner stuff. And we also have these. I think I'm just going to start off by showing you all these real quick. And I'll just zoom in as much as I can. So that stuff's in the background. But these are the Halloween ears for Disney this year. Um, I ordered them off of eBay because they went uh out of stock on shop disney at first but i just checked right now and as of right now they're still up um unfortunately due to school and work and a lot of stuff i would not probably be going to disney anytime soon but i just could not resist because i remember like i went to disney for my birthday three birthdays ago i think and um I, you know, really wanted these ears that they had. They were like candy corn and they were gone. Like by the time I could get there, like I was so upset. So, you know, whenever I see cute ears, I just have to have them. Sometimes I find them on eBay after the fact. I found these on eBay through a seller who I believe lived in Florida. So they were able, they're able to just, you know, buy them in the parks and, you know, send them to people. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, I got some ears to add to my collection. I don't have too many Halloween ones. I do have like more Halloween themed ones but I mostly have more Christmas ones or maybe I'm tied now with these um I typically have I have this pair I have a pair of Haunted Mansion ones I have some of the like sequin ones I have the turquoise sequin the millennial pink sequin the silver sequin the classic black with red uh bow Minnie Mouse sequin and then I think I have three uh Christmas ones um I have Haunted Mansion I have a witch hat one which I probably will never wear it's just more for novelty but I thought I'd go ahead and share this here with y'all um as a lot of like my planner peeps here you guys are kind of sometimes into Disney sometimes you're not but I thought these were very cute so very excited about that then I have some wax here, and this is from a new to me shop. This is Salt, Mount Salt Mountain Melt. I'm very excited. Um, I already smelled these, but it was like two-ish weeks ago at this point, so I don't really remember. But starting off with this one, this is LA County Fair, and it has notes of fruity pebbles, vanilla ice cream, and cotton candy. And I ordered from their pre-order. They have souffles, and they also have little buns, I think, and I got the souffles. And this smells so good. Oh. I love Fruity Pebbles. It's just such a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, and then we have Carnival Queen. And this is Saltwater Taffy, Pink Sugar, and Lemon Curd. Mmm, this smells so good. Like, all of these are not even, like, no cap. You know, for all my people that keep up with, like, Gen Z slang. 
This is Midway Magic. This is Tro Birthday Cake, Milla Wafer, and Marshmallow Fluff. I just love like how cute these little things are. Mm, that smells good. I I definitely get like the mallow and I definitely think I get maybe birthday cake and vanilla, but I don't really get the churro, but maybe I'll get it when I melt it. This is summer sipping, which is watermelon chunks, ice cold lemonade, and southern sugar. Let's see. Mm, this smells really good. If you're really into the fruity smells, definitely check that out. Salt Mountain Melts. Ugh. Salt Mountain Melts is about to have a restock, but I think this video is going up after they're like ready to ship restock. Um, if if things go how I want to schedule them, this should be going up on Tuesday, I believe, September fifteenth. I think it'll be no, September fourteenth. Hopefully, um, I think that's what I wrote down. It's over my my schedule for myself is written down on the other side of my desk but um definitely check out salt mountain melts if you're into um wax melts this is circus animal stuffed sugar cookie which is circus animal cookie sugar cookie dough frosted sugar cookies mm, it smells really good it's a very sweet smell if you're into the sweet smells and then last but not least, we have bread and jam for Francis. Um, and it's a baked zucchini bread, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and creamy butter. Let's see. Mm, that smells really good. Oh my god. I want some dessert after that. Um, then let's go ahead and get into some more wax. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders. I think this was the pre-order I ordered from. I didn't even realize I ordered a scoopable. But anyways, um, this is the White Elephant Exchange Strawberry Pound Cake. I do like this. I just I don't really use scoop bowls usually. And the notes are powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting, fresh baked strawberries, vanilla, buttery vanilla pound cake, and whipped cream. And this does smell good from the last time I remember smelling it. This is what it looks like when you get it. And it is good. It's a very sweet smell. I love my sweet smells. I just... I'm fully embracing it. That's why I kind of stopped doing like wax subs because I don't really want to be surprised. Like I know what I like and I want to buy what I like. Um, I think like wax subs are great uh, and like bundles are great when you're first figuring out like what scent notes you like. But if you can avoid it, I would just buy it my like how I want it. Um, sorry, let me not jump into like another shop to keep continuity. So let me pull out the rest of my L3 Wonder, but I also have a SEMO wax melt order that I'm going to be showing you guys, and then my Fantasy Wax Halloween Advent, and um, what else? What else did I get from Fantasy Wax? Um, oh, just like a general sale, I think, if I remember correctly. Hold on. You guys are going to think I'm absolutely ridiculous for how many of these I have. And you're right, you're not wrong. Like, I am ridiculous. Like, I never, I need to stop buying so much wax. But I don't think I can. Also, I don't remember paying for this, but I think this came from L3 for the scoopable wax. I do like that this one's like metal. All the other ones I usually get from other shops are like plastic, so I thought that was really nice. Like, it's a really nice feeling. Scoop and it's black. Love that. Um, so yeah, I think, oh, there's one last thing I think and then I'll move on to SEMO after that and then we'll get into some stickers and then we'll go back to wax so um here's the rest of the L3 I do have a problem with cinnamon smells this is the burrow I can't remember the exact notes but I think it's supposed to be like cinnamon buns or something mm, it smells just like cinnamon oh, I love cinnamon cinnamon's like my favorite smell um but I got four of these little the burrows you know just in case and then I got two Hufflepuffs but I think it's supposed to be like pumpkin cream cheese rolls or something I don't remember but it smells so good oh that smells so good so Hufflepuff and um, the burrow so good and then I have like four samplers that came as well I was also like really like shocked at myself i was i was actually able to get something i wanted 
when she had her ready to ship, when L3 had their ready to ship. Um, I was able to get something I wanted in the pre-order. I didn't even realize, like, oh, I pre-ordered that. I was, like, so disappointed that I didn't get it in the ready to ship. Turns out I was looking out for myself. But anyways, this is Pennywise, which is sweet funnel cake dusted with powdered sugar and topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. This is not a spicy funnel cake scent, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to have to cut these loaves, babies, but let's just pour it out. So it looks like it already smells so good. Mm, so glad I have this. So here for all the like dessert fall vibes. Like I really want a funnel cake. I need to go to like, I don't know, either an amusement park or, oh, it smells so good as it's like, it just smells so good. I just can't. Um, but I need to go to an amusement park or something or like a fair if they have one. Um, this is Sleepy Hollow, which is vanilla pound cake with pumpkin cream filling and cream cheese frosting. Let's see. One thing I will say about L3 is they do have really strong throws. This is what it looks like. This is a bunt, a big bunt. And I think it's good. Um, personally, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of pumpkin and I was hoping for not so much pumpkin. But it is definitely like a pumpkin vanilla. I was just hoping for more of like that cream cheese smell and I don't really get that too much. Maybe I do, maybe cream cheese is really subtle. Who knows, but this is still good. I say it's still a win, but I'm still not a huge like pumpkin smell lover. Unless it's like this, I think. I think I like this. Um, this is Blackberry Watermelon Fizzy Pop, which is one of my boyfriend's favorites. He's really into fizzy. So I already have this in like the little snap bars but we're almost out, and so this would be nice for him to have as a little warmer for himself. Then we have pumpkin pecan waffles. Mm, I really like this, and I was telling my boyfriend it's really nostalgic to me. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of those little wafers that you would get, like those little uh, Neapolitan wafer cookies. Um, this is roasted coffee white elephant exchange. I always love a coffee smell, my boyfriend does not. Mm, it smells good. I love like coffee smells to like focus and you make your coffee and you work on your homework and do all that. And this is pumpkin pecan waffle bake. Oh, actually this is from Simo, so I will move into Simo. So that was everything from L3 Wax and Wonders. Then we have super adorable stuff from Simo Wax Melts. And I'm really sorry because this is gonna go up after their restock. Sorry, my boyfriend's texting me. Um, he's just sending me a TikTok. He doesn't even have TikTok. He probably saw it on Reddit. But, um, uh, I ordered... Oh my god, stop talking. <laughs> he just goes, damn, that link long. Okay. Um, I told him I'm filming, so I wish he would not text me right now. Let me try to... Do I have pockets? I do not in this sweater to put my phone. Whatever. Okay. I'm just gonna put it on the carpet so it's not a distraction. But anyways... Sema Wax Melts, I'm so sorry y'all, because it's so good, and I'm not gonna have this haul up by the time they restock is, but I will post on my Instagram when they restock, I might get some stuff. So, let's start off, I guess we'll start off with the little sampler that they gave. So this is pumpkin pecan waffle bake. Looks like a little like, like a fan. It's like the mold that they used. Mm, it smells really good too. I'm not usually a pumpkin pecan waffle person. It's funny I got that from both of them, um, from Simo and L3, but I do love that, to be quite honest. I'm quite surprised. So let's start with these little pumpkins. I got Blackberry Sweater Weather. Mmm. Eh. Smells so good. Um, sweater Weather is one of my favorite smells ever at like Bath and Body Works. Um, so. I mean, it's pretty much like that with a blackberry head, but it's very clean fall. This is Ciderling and Cornbread Muffin. And this is what they look like, these little pumpkins. Mmm, it smells really good. Like, just delicious. The Ciderling is very prevalent. And then we have Mac Apple and Fireside Marshmallow. Mmm, that smells really good. I definitely get both of those. I wonder if like one's Mac Apple and one's Fireside Marshmallow or if it's a mix. Okay, and then let's move into these little babies. We got two pumpkins here. These are the cutest thing ever. Like I just can't. Like this is insane, the level of talent. 
But this is apple butter scotch cake and butter brickle. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm gonna pull it out so you can see. I'll pull one out so you can see what it looks like. But this is what it looks like. And I hope I don't make a mess all over my desk. I think I'm making a mess, but it is so adorable. Like I could eat this, but I'm not going to because you're not supposed to eat wax. But that smells so good. I love me a good, like, just sweet smell. Um, this one is blueberry pumpkin patch and zucchini bread. Mmm, that smells so good. It doesn't even smell like a lot like pumpkin. It's definitely more zucchini, and I love that. Because I'm not really, like I said, not a huge pumpkin girl. Then, the nostalgia, y'all. And I'm going to take each one out so you guys can see. But the nostalgia... I can't like do you remember these do you remember these comment down below please let me know so this is like the little treat buckets that you would get at McDonald's like way back in the day and um this is uh sweater weather and toasted marshmallow sorry I took a pause I thought I heard my mom like not my mom I thought my phone was ringing because I called my mom earlier and she didn't answer but Let's try to get this out without making too much of a mess. So this is what it looks like. Let me smell it. Mmm, very like soft. Love that sweater weather vibe. And this is what the toppings and the inside of this little thing look like. Let me focus. Like, is that not the cutest except for the spider? I hate the spider. I wonder if I'm gonna have to take that out. <laughs> I wonder if it's wax or what. But I hate spiders so I don't love that and all of them have that so that's the only downside for me and I'm getting stuff everywhere because I wanted to show you guys but I'm not gonna probably do that again probably just try to show you guys in the baggie try to rotate it while it's in the bag this one is a little white treat basket and this is maple sugar cookie ah the lid's falling let me turn face so you guys can see and it also has a lid like that so this is what it looks like mmm it smells so good and this is what that one looks like and then last but not least is the little jack-o-lantern looking one and this one is Amish bread and candy corn buttercream it's already cracked no I don't know how I managed that or maybe it was already cracked. I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I have to cut it up anyways to put it in the warmer, but... Mmm, it smells so good. It doesn't even smell like candy corn buttercream to me. It smells like buttercream, but it smells like cinnamon and sweetness. So all those, honestly, 10 out of 10 in my book. Obsessed. So I will make sure to post on my stories, um, like, showing the haul, tagging all the people, like, showing that I filmed it, and letting you guys know that they're going to have a restock. So let's go ahead and get into these stickers. I'm going to start off with Once More With Love. Um, Once More With Love had a Facebook sale to show like appreciation for the Facebook group. So I stocked up because I had not ordered in quite a while. And I probably need to order again. But I usually wait until there's enough. I don't know if anyone else does that. Um, I don't usually like to buy like two or three sheets and pay all that shipping. So anyways, we have this Once More With Love Facebook exclusive freebie. Um, I probably won't use any of these. Maybe some of the emojis and maybe cut off the Facebook family and just mark family stuff. But yeah, that's, you know, maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll use that for marking stuff for my shop. I don't know. Speaking of my shop, we're getting there, guys. Like, I've been on a office reorganization and lots been going on in life, but we're getting there. And I promise I'll let you guys know when I'm open. And once I have new releases. So this is August. To tell you, this pun was hard to come up with. Love all of the fall. The feeling hollow is so funny. The little ghosty, the pie, the pumpkins, the acorns. So cute. Then let me move my invoice. Hopefully you couldn't see anything besides like just descriptors of what I bought. But this is the little freebie journaling card. Um this uh little like bulletin board 
I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, with Once More With Love and then Munchkins. Love you, be kind, calendar. Thank you and curse from my shop. You may be, you just may, you may just be looking to pick up some cute new stationery. But to me and my family, this means everything to us. We pour our hearts into designing, packing, and mailing, packaging, and mailing out your order. I'll never have enough for us, so thank you for your support. You make that word, that world possible for us, and I hope you smile knowing that. Love, Marg. So, super excited. I'm sorry, I was just looking at my invoice, but um, let me go ahead and get into it. So, I got more of these little chef stickers. I use them to mark cooking, and I'm glad I can finally use like the last two that I have um, on the sheet that I have. Then we have some superheroes. I just thought I would need this for you know marking more movies. There's a little Loki. I like the Loki. I don't know if I used him yet on a different sheet because I already have the sheet, but I used some of them, so I figured I'd pick some up because there's going to be more movies like Spider-Man, um... I just watched the new Suicide Squad. I never seen the original, but then I got some more cooking time. I got some more work from home. No text as your girl has a new job and she's completely work from home now. I got these little VR munchkins because my boyfriend has a VR. He doesn't have the Oculus. He has a fancy one that you plug into the computer and he does stuff. I don't know. Then I have anticipation. I have virtual learning because I'm in school. We have the carnival fair. Like I said, I'm ready to go get some funnel cake. We have mosquitoes. So glad for summer to be over. I hate summer. There's Halloween costumes 4.0. I thought these were so cute. Halloween planners. Holiday happy mail 3.0. Holiday planners. Holiday planning scene 2.0 fireplace scene couple so that's that part of that part <laughs> not of the hall but of that part and then this other stack is the miniature zeros i got the miniature oogie boogies i got the snow globes 2.0 presentation <clears throat> um quiz test a lot of school stuff because school Exam, meeting 2.0, have lots of more meetings now, my new job, group project, university college mixed, picnic, Halloween deco, I figured I'd pick up one more sheet of this because I used some of it last year, um, the fall bucket list 5.0, I love how the scripts are separate now, um, hold on. I have the pastel Halloween deco. The Halloween mugs are so cute. Um, and then the holiday mugs are super cute. I just can't wait to use those. So that was my order for Once More With Love. Super excited to put this all away and just get to planning with it. I'm hoping to be caught up with videos for Plan With Me's next week. Fingers crossed. I have a very busy week ahead of me. I'm very stressed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so before I go into mysteries for SPC, um, let's just do like original orders that aren't in like caress press. Let's just do like orders that weren't um, mysteries. And then I think that's it for planner stuff at that point. Uh, actually, no, I have a paper shy order too. How could I forget? I'll also do the paper shire order as well. I got a little bullet journal because she gives me all the FOMO. So, but let's go through this first. So, let's do caress press. We have three kits, actually two kits and one monthly. So this is the Halloween night. I forgot which week I'm using this for. Let me know if you guys are interested in kit lineup videos. I kind of feel like they're redundant, but not redundant, but there's a certain word I'm looking for. Um, but anyways, I was obsessed with this, especially the green color, like just ha knew I had to have it. So this is Halloween night. This is the art by Darcy DeBose, I think that's how you say your name. Um, I got the 15 millimeter washi. We have you know, our deco, our boxes, our checklists, and the flags, and the weekend banner. 
We have our full boxes. Honestly, I liked Crest Press Rendition the most. And I think... I don't know if it came with extra boxes or what. I don't know. I just really like this the most, though. So. Maybe it does. I think I, I missed it. Yep. The, um... You get these extra freebie boxes. Or maybe I didn't miss it. I just probably didn't acknowledge it. Um, I like the little cake. I think I'm using this the week of, like, my shop anniversary and my best friend's birthday because I wanted a cake to, and a kit to celebrate that. And I think the SPC one didn't have the cake or something. I don't know. Then you have your um, solid labels and headers. You have your pattern um, labels and headers. You have your glitter headers and your rounded labels and some little, um, I don't know what size that's called, but some more labels, what you say labels. <laughs> then you have icons, um, habit trackers, your like month, your weekly preview or whatever. Um, this seems like budgeting, I don't always know. Flight tracker, don't care, work class, heart checklist, and a, a movie marquee. Then you have your little things and your headers. And then you have an extra full box, bottom washi, um, date covers, I think, and date dots and a payday flag. So, excuse me. Sorry, I'm burping. But that is um, Halloween night, which I'm super excited for. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to plan with this and show y'all how it turns out. I'm just going to slip that over there. There also are these freebies. I think they're just like order freebies. Um, but it has like like um, celestial vibes I think. Um, like full box overlays. And then you have some scripts where it says order food, movie night, Crest Press freebie, and I have it in gold and silver. I'm not a huge, a huge celestial fan to be honest with y'all. So then this one is going to be for the week of Disney's First, no, Disney's 50th anniversary. Um, this is kittenish dress art. I didn't get to use this art and I never picked it up in a kit. I usually only prefer to reserve like Disney kits for going to Disney, but I figured 50th anniversary was big enough to do it and also introduce Halloween into my planner. So I'm excited. So you have the 15 millimeter washery. I love the color. You have these um, extra boxes. I love the little black not black pack, backpack. Um, then we have these skirt boxes, checklist, deco, weekend, and flag um, stickers. We have full boxes here. We have, you know, the flat lays, the full, the double boxing, all of that. I like how there's different girl options. Like if you use the fashion girl that came with the kit freebie, then you have the um, label. Uh, solid labels, pattern labels, um, better headers, rounded labels, more more labels here. Icons, work class, flight, have a tracker, all of that stuff. Little things and more headers and then um, an extra full box scene, the bottom washi, the date covers and the date dots and the payday flag, uh, sticker. I think it's also like a flag but so yeah, that's spooky magic. I'm super excited to use that. And then last but not least is this um, October monthly. I need to order September monthly and November monthly. Probably one from Crest Press and one from Pink Diamond Planner Co. I haven't decided um, how I'm going to do this. Like I have an idea, but... Um, anyways, so this is Hey Witches. I'm really excited to have a monthly with this art because I'm not going to be using it in a kit. Um, but I love the little Crocs, you know, these two little boxes. Yeah, I got the deco sidebar. I think this is so cute. I wish I could decorate, like, I, have, I wish I had a house like that to decorate. Icons, flags. Then you have this side here. All these boxes, dates, payday, movie marquee. It's a really small movie marquee. I never, I've tried to use it. It just, no. The little flag is cute with the bow. And then these little labels. So that is Hey Witches, which I'm going to be using for my October monthly highlights, which I'm super excited for. 
Um, and then this is an order from Sadie Stickers, two dollar Tuesday. I got the Bat Confetti Dots in Hollow Silver, and then I got. I always pick up only hollow and silver mostly, unless it's like fall stuff, then I get gold, yep. So then I have the Bat Confetti Headers and Silver and Hollow. I got the Bat Layered Garland for monthly and silver and hollow. I got the Candy Mini Deco and hollow and silver. And then I got the Mini Pumpkin Deco in gold and silver. So that was my little order from Sadie Stickers. I love how cute these are. Like the, the little sizing, it's just adorable. Um, and I love this little cello that it came in. So, super excited. I'm gonna be either doing printables for a lot of Halloween foil this year or making my own. All right, and then getting into this SPC order. I think it's just doodles and some monthlies for my B6. So, let me get my invoice. So we have some doodles here. I got the pastel nuggets. I got the hot dogs, the little hoagie sub, pizza, printers, and the pastel and in the neutral silhouettes and the pastel and in the white original colors and these dymos in the pastel and in the black. So those were the doodles I picked up. Super excited to use those and put those away. Let me put this over here. Then I got the B6 monthly um, with the little witch art. Hold on, my camera's gonna cut me off, so I'm gonna pause and resume. Okay, so I'm back. So I got the little witch art for the B6 size. Um, I use B6, I'm using it for my personal and I'm gonna use it for my shop. So I'm gonna probably do this with hollow or sparkly hollow and my monthly. And then I got the fall one. Technically I should have opened this already and used it for uh, uh, September. But maybe I'll just use it for November, we'll see. Unless she has one that's Thanksgiving art. I think she does, I'll have to see. But um, so I got these two monthlies. I like that they're not like, you know, the, what's it called? Like caress press, you can use them whenever you want. And then I got, I don't know what this is. I think it's like a rack of like, little tiny foil um yep freebie pack so it came in this little thing with the backing card you get some gold flag overlays which i always forget to use nowadays these like sparkly hollow spc happy mail new releases happy mail new releases freebie um this i'm probably gonna put most of these in a rack um this here Will you be my valentine? I have too many of these. This, the year is yours to infinity and beyond. Happy new year. The emojis. Um, I might keep these little bows for deco. There's more flags and then another one of these, which I'm pretty sure I have. So I might be giving those away as a rack. We'll see. So that was my SPC order. Then let's get into Paper Shire and then we'll do um, mysteries. So this is Paper Shire. We're going to do stickers first. So I don't, did I make two orders? I don't know. I'm like, why do I have two of them split up like that? I don't know. Anyways, so we have Vanilla Depression, What a Vibe, Thanksgiving School, Flat Lay, Autumn Shelf and Desk, Autumn Half Boxes, fall desk um i'm gonna use these in my b6 wedding food i'm going to a wedding this weekend as long as i'm not positive for covid i don't know i just got tested i don't think i would have been exposed but you never know um wedding prep uh, snack subscription i do get tokyo treat so i'm really excited for this month's one because i think it's like apple cinnamon or something we got the birthday boho work desk college shelf i feel like i have some of these halloween half boxes this is also for my b6 halloween night halloween desk and vanilla cleaning the fridge i'm like why did it get split i don't know did i place two orders no i didn't so I'm like, why are they split um 
So yeah, I love all those. And then this has freebies. This has the all orders freebie, the 20 pounds freebie, oh, the 40 pounds freebie, all the little caramel apples, all of it, just so cute, the little latte. 60 pound orders freebie, and that was it. And then the August Facebook exclusive. So cute, the little cinnamon rolls, I'm dying. Oh my God, the cookies. This is so cute. I'm like trying to look at it all. That's cute. Okay, so then I got the Cell Vanillas. Um, Paper Shire should have reopened um, the Friday before this is gonna go up, so on September 10th, but they're gonna be in the Planner Boss Collective Sale on February, not February, why am I saying February? September 17th, so look out for that. They're gonna have 20% off. I'm definitely gonna shop them because it's my payday. This is game day. This is clothes shopping, which I've been doing a lot of for fall. Bread, I love bread so much. Um, wedding Nana, not on the verge of getting married, but you know, it's gonna happen one day, but I don't even think I'll have a wedding. We'll see, it'll be like very small. Getting married, this is so cute. Moving, hopefully one day. Um, vanilla makeup shopping. I don't really buy makeup a lot like that, but I just thought these would be really cute. Um, vanilla mini golf. So cute. I want to go mini golfing. The dishwasher. Vanilla bug bites. Vanilla hay fever. Vanilla household chores. Also, sorry if my, um air conditioning was like running loud it, it just cut off and then vanilla food delivery which I, i'm surprised i didn't have those because they're not new but glad to have them now even though i don't really order food delivery unless it's pizza nowadays um so this is the i think this is the a5 what's it called ah, a5 bullet journal it is so thick it's so much thicker than i thought it would be like, it was on sale, so I'm very happy I picked it up. Oh, it feels so nice. This is my first time opening it, too. So, we're getting my first genuine impression. So, it comes with these, like, foldable bullet journal, um, like, on their premium matte sticker paper. And then it says, durable cover and thick paper, perfect for bullet journals and school notes. It's 160 GSM thick paper, five by five dot grid, page dot grid journal. So cute, the foiling is immaculate. It just looks so thick, y'all, like I'm shook. Like I feel like most of them don't even have this many pages. This is insane. So I'm on the verge of getting into bullet journaling. If I do, I'm gonna have to do like a lot of stuff in pencil first and then go over it with a pen or, you know, one of the little pens and whatnot. So, super excited. I think I'm gonna take the plunge. I'm probably not gonna film in it. And once I get super comfortable, I was gonna film in my B6 as well, but I'm not there yet. So, cause I don't, I'm honestly, some days I'm like, eh, this doesn't look that great. And I'd rather it just be for me at that point. <laughs> but this feels so smooth, like, I can't. This is such a good quality bullet journal. Like, better than anything I've ever ordered on Amazon. And uh, even better than a moleskin to me, to be honest. So then, last but not least, we have our two mysteries. We have the SPC September Mystery and the Caress Press September Mystery. So let's open SPC first, which I'm really excited for. Sorry if my camera was really shaky. I was zooming y'all in. And I, like, did it so aggressively. <sighs> this is so cute. I'm so excited for this. Probably not going to use this until, like, January, maybe? March? Kind of feeling the green. I could probably use this for an anniversary. I wish I had guy boxes, though. Um, that's the only, like, downside of it. Or maybe I just wouldn't use... I'd only use one fashion girl. I don't know. We'll see. But this is so cute. Um, but yeah, I don't see, I don't see my, ugh, I don't see myself using it, um, until like next year for sure, just cause I don't have room, <laughs> but, um, 
love this tall box. It's just very cozy. I love coziness. Um, have this page here. Glitter headers. Oh. Icons, flags, labels, miscellaneous. Colored labels, pattern labels, bottom washi. And then I like this girl. I feel like that's the most like me, except I don't have bangs. This is very cute. Then you have this here. So you could use this, like, you know, to sub out for, uh, you know, for, there's no guy boxes, but you could use it for anniversaries um, if you don't use any girl boxes or just use one that looks like yourself. And then we have the um, foil, which I think this is like one of the first foils. I feel like I can say this does feel like it fits in like a while. Um, other mysteries, I felt like the foil does not fit and I feel like it was just like an afterthought. <laughs> but anyways, um, we have the silver twinkle. So cute. Here are your bottom uh, bougie boxes, whatever. Icons, a whimsical bow, bottom washi, and um, more twinkles. So that is the September mystery. I know a lot of people like it. Some people don't, you know, that would make everybody happy, but I like it. Let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments. And then this one I think is also having some people in love and some people are just like not their vibe. I feel like it's very polarizing, but anyways, let's get into it. It's the murder mystery party, which I surprisingly, I want to have a party like this, but, um, has this like burnt orange 15 millimeter washi. You also have this like bows and blood splatter and also like, like art deco vibes, uh, foil, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so you have your boxes, checklist, deco, weekend flags. We have these cute little full boxes. I love that the cake is there. Maybe I will, who knows if I'll be planning by the time I turn 30, which is like four years from now, but maybe I would have like a 30th birthday party that was this theme. I don't know, my birthday's always around Halloween, so that'd be kind of cool. Oh, these colors. And then I love the like art deco um, pattern, and the plaid. Then we have the glitter headers, rounded boxes movie marquee, all of that good stuff. Little things, the spot washi. And then it says a party to die for, and it says for October 31st, so like maybe I could use it for Halloween one year. Probably not this year. I have a different kit. Um, date headers, blah, blah, blah. Extra fashion options. Love this fashion guy here. And, you know, love the fashion girls. I think it's crazy that the blood splatter, though. I don't know how I feel about that. But, you know, your girl loves a good murder mystery and whatnot. So that would be really fun. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. We'll see. I'm very torn because I do like a traditional Halloween. So we shall see. But this is the foil to match um, the kit. And I think it's also up on Caress Press website. I'm keeping my kit, so if you're interested though, she does put extras on her site. Um, so you have the foil. You have this. I'm gonna, oh, it goes like this, okay. So there's the foil full boxes. Then you have headers, um, blood drip and bows. You have icons, scripts, pull reinforcers, um date numbers and then two sheets of bougie boxes so that was the caress press september mystery i'm obsessed with it um i really like it let me know what you guys think though and then last but not least i'm gonna be very careful to not get my freaking address in this so this is fantasy wax melts and i have two things that were one order and then i have the advent oh my god you can't see my dress hopefully okay so let's go 
go ahead and get into these. This was from the Adams Family and some extra stuff that I hadn't picked up um, releases. I also didn't shop the, um, I did not shop the birthday sale because I was like, I have a good chunk of these still, so it's okay. Um, so I have four that I think were pickups from, like that I wanted as their own because I didn't feel like buying a whole bundle of stuff that I didn't like, so. From the Adams family, I got everything I think though. This is Beetlejuice actually. This is um, from the Beetlejuice release probably. And this is leaves type. Mm, this smells so good. I love the leaves scent from Bath and Body Works. Then this is Barbara, which is um, pumpkin apple butter. There's a Beetlejuice release and a Adam's family release? Is it? I don't know. I, I thought it was Adam's family. This smells good. Definitely get that pumpkin, but it's not too much. Um, this is Adam, which is cinnamon, apples, wild berries, and clove. I think it smells good. It reminds me of something nostalgic, like something that my mom had, I think. This is Miss Argentina, which is cider donut. So the toppings. I'm not really a huge fan of this one compared to like other cider donut scents that I have. Um, it smells just like, I don't know, too bakery. I like, I don't smell any cider. I just mostly feel like I smell like donut. I don't know. This is Lydia Dietz, which is Mac Apple. So that looks like, mm, smells so good. I love me a good Mac Apple. Now I wanna go eat an apple. Um, and then this is one of the freebies, which is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. And that smells really good. We have the Delia Dietz, which is Appleberry Spice. Mm, that smells really good. That one's really good. This is Snow Fairy, which is Light Fruits and Florals. Mm, that smells just like Snow Fairy. I love Snow Fairy. And I'm making a mess. This is apple pie, which is apples, fresh baked, crust, cinnamon. That smells really good. Love that. Then we have Tinkerbell, which is a fizzy pop. I got this mostly for my boyfriend. I think it smells good, but it also reminds me of like alcohol. I don't know why. And then this is Wendy Darling, which is strawberry pound cake. That's what those look like. And it smells really good. Love me some strawberry pound cake. And then last but not least, this is blueberry pumpkin patch. Mmm, that smells so good. I just can't. So then, here is the advent box. And it's, I think it's for like the 13 days, including Halloween. So I'm definitely gonna do that. But it came with this little journaling card. Um, it's just Happy Halloween from the Fantasy Wax Melt team. Fantasy Wax Melts, we cannot thank you enough for ordering our first ever Halloween box. We loaded up with some amazing fall Halloween scents and can't wait to see what you think. Be sure to tag us in all of your posts. I'm just going to open it and show you this Scrubble Prince Co. collab Halloween wax sticker. I always think these are like so cute, but like the likelihood of me using them are like very limited. But I do think they're cute, so I will say that. So, let's go ahead and open this big like tart pie and tart whatever this is nightmare before christmas which is orange peels juicy apples nutmeg and clove moving the box out of the way so i can do this and it smells a lot like i can get the apples i think i'm getting a lot of clove which can be kind of like cleansing kind of not hating it i do like a good clean smell sometimes oops then we have Casper, which is maple toddy and vanilla rum. Vanilla and rum. It smells good. I don't really get a lot of maple. I get mostly like vanilla. I don't really even get rum either. I don't know. We'll see how it melts. Oop, this box. I'm so tired of it like being in my way. This is Halloween Town, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, which I have plenty of those. Mmm, it smells so good. I need to just like 
start trusting that I like pumpkin pecan waffle smell. Then we have Nightmare on Elm Street, which is an apple butterscotch cake. Mm, so good. I wonder if like, they got the same oils, like the oils to make the wax at the same place. This is fresh pumpkin and caramel swirls. Mm, that smells really good. grabbed a few. This is Rocky Horror Picture Show. It was my first time watching this movie last year, but this is bourbon, sea salt, and caramel. And this is what the toppings look like. And that smells really good. I definitely get that bourbon, for sure. This is Haunted Mansion, which is blueberry pumpkin patch. Mmm, that smells really good. Then this is Halloween, which is candy corn. It smells good. I'm not sure if I can say it smells like candy corn with confidence because it's been a long time since I smelled candy corn, but we'll just say it does. Let me pull the rest of these out. We get a clamshell, and I think that's it. Yep, that was it. So those are the last ones, and this one is Adam's Family, which is frosted pumpkin cupcake. Mm, smells really sweet, but also good. Like, does a good job at being like cinnamon. This is Scream, which is rich, rich musk pear hint of nuts. Scream is my favorite horror movie. Mm, and I made a mess. Cool. But it smells good. This one is. Oh, this one is Friday the 13th, which is bergamot, orange, raspberry, and mahogany. Smells very clean, smelling like a man. This one is It, which is funnel cake, which I think is a nod to like the one that they had last year. That was funnel cake based off of Pennywise. It smells good. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like a syrup though. Something syrupy. And then this is 13 Ghosts, which is mold cider. I don't think there's an order to melt these in. I think you just do what you want. So we shall see. I think it smells good. Definitely has like a, that like mold smell. Mm. But that is it y'all. I have finished up this haul for you guys. So far it appears to be like, this part appears to just be like 50 minutes alone. So, or nearly 50 minutes alone. It's gonna be 50 by the time I finish just wrapping up this outro. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this haul. Please do leave a question down below if you have any about, you know, where I get stuff, you know, what do I recommend, whatever. Let me know what you guys think of, you know, all of the stuff. What did you like? You know, what would you be interested in? You know, just don't forget to leave a comment. Um, that way I know you guys like this. But, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm forgetting how I always wrap up my videos, but I just want to say thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications to get notified whenever I upload a video, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye!